Hi, hello. Um, so my name is Elizabeth Bismuth, and um, I have started my PhD four months ago. And um, the um, research I'm presenting today is is obviously not mine, uh, but it's from um, Professor Daniel Straub and uh, Jesus Luke, who is um, who is finishing his PhD um, now, and. Um, uh, so I'm doing the, the, the research under the supervision of Professor Straub, and this is uh, directly related to my work, so I will be able to answer your question in the end. Um, just as a note, my background is um, I have been a structural engineer for five years before that, and I came into academia just now. Um, and um, I'm particularly interested in the... Um, uh, optimal inspection strategies in structural system because it's something that um, we wish to the industry wish to tackle. I've uh, seen firsthand, but uh, the, sometimes the uh, the dialogue is difficult with the, the tools available um, uh, for these complex um, challenge um, questions. So um, the uh, for any deteriorating system. Um, deterioration has uh, uncertainty that needs to be quantified and uh, this uncertainty can be redu reduced um, through um, inspection of uh, the systems and uh, the, the question that is uh, quite important to um, an uh, operator is um, what is the optimal inspection plan, inspection and maintenance plan that I can apply for the minimum cost. Of during the life cycle of the structure. So um, the objective of the inspection planning, of the open one inspection plan, is to minimize the total expected lifetime costs and the risk uh, to the system. And um, there are four questions that are asked generally in the inspection planning. Um, when, where, what, and how. Um, what and how are, are questions that have been answered during this, um, during this session. Uh, they concern um, what, what to inspect, so strain, vibration, uh, and how to inspect it, what are the methods. Um, but I will be focusing on when and where. Uh, so when to inspect and, uh, and where to inspect in a multi-component structure. Um, so here we're looking at um, planning based on detail models. So uh, for instance, we have an offshore structure or a wind turbine, and these are uh, sub subject to um, uh, various loads during the lifetime and uh, will have the structural response and in consequence will have um, crag growth due to fatigue, corrosion, etc. And these, um, uh, um, evolution of uh, crack, for instance, have been described in literature um, and they've been described with uh, some uh, formulas and here for, the ex for this example we will look at the Paris law for uh, the uh, propagation of the uh, crack growth, fatty crack growth. Um, so the optimal inspection planning um, is described as a sequential decision problem um, but obviously uh, that means that we have to look at, if we want to an optimal solution, we have to look at everything that is um, uh, possibly happening and, and uh, calculate the associated costs and how likely they are to happen. Uh, so the generic decision tree looks like this. Now, if um, you have um, multiple components, you increase exponentially the size of the system and then uh, if you want to be, uh, if you want to increase the number of time steps, the possible times where you can inspect your system, maintain it, then again the system complexity increases. Um, so there are a few um, answers to this question, uh, one of which is um, first the partial observable um, Markov decision process, which will be tackled in the next presentation. Um, and the these approaches for the moment have been limited to uh, simple models, so single components, because they are quite computationally demanding as they require to observe every 
possible state and determine the, uh, uh, the optimal policy for each possible state of the system during its lifetime. Um, the heuristic approach has been proved to be quite efficient here. We're looking, for instance, at a, a threshold approach or a constant inspection intervals. And um, actually, the, the simple heuristics have shown that they uh, provide um, a um, quite comparable uh, cost, expected cost, to the other more complex um, uh, methods. Um, and they lead to quite simple problems, as in if you decide uh, how many times uh, uh, regular inspection um, intervals and in and, um, quite simple decision between uh, repair and no repair. However, when you go to a system level, multiple components, this again, the computational effort increases a lot. And the heuristic at a system level are much more difficult to define. How, how can you um, uh, calculate uh, the probability of failure of the system when you have a quite complex system with multiple components? So um, these challenges, um, um, computational challenges and, and uh, can be tackled. We, we propose a solution which is based on simple heuristics again for defining uh, a wide range of um, inspection repair strategies at the system level. And then we, um, uh, saw we tackle the computational problem for the calculation probability of failure with um, Bayesian networks. And we combine this with the Monte Carlo approach to integrate over future inspection results. So this is um, is uh, explained in this way. You basically, as soon as you know um, for a given inspection result, um, and you know how many inspections you've done during a lifetime of component, when you know this, you know how much your uh, total life, um, the life cycle of the system cost, the uh, uh, inspe inspection um, implementation cost and the repair cost. So as soon as you have the path um, traced, you, this is quite easy to calculate the cost. The issue, of course, is, um, is for each strategy that you can choose, you have different uh, inspection outcomes, which depend on uh, the deterioration state of the model. And here you have to do a uh, Monte Carlo approach. But uh, once you have uh, basically calculated this for all the strategies you've defined with the heuristic, you can define what is the best strategy by choosing uh, the one that minimizes the cost in relation to uh, the inspection obtained through the Monte Carlo approach. Um, so this is, um, so the, the, the probability of failure is calculated with the Bayesian network approach, then the Monte Carlo approach for the inspection, uh, integrating the inspection and heuristic with a few parameters. Um, the, the base for the, so the Bayesian network um, briefly is, is um, composed of um, a node and the characteristic of this network is that it's quite easy to calculate the probability of the system if we know the uh, conditional probability of um, each uh, node. Um, in relation to its parents. And uh, the deterioration can be modeled in this way by, um, we have, by modeling uh, the deterioration uh, sequentially as a Markov process in this case, where uh, we have the current state depends only on the, on the state of the previous step. Um, so at the component level, this approach has uh, shown to be uh, quite effective. Um, the observations are at the at component level here, um, and we extend this uh, dynamic Bayesian network to a hierarchical dynamic Bayesian network by replicating this uh, the single component for each of the components, and then correlating the components by a um, hyperparameters. Um, so these hyperparameters correlate the initial state of the component whether it's the deterioration, initial deterioration state, or the um, uh, time dependent or um, time invariant parameters. Um, and 
the, the advantage of the dynamic Bayes network is that it enables us to discretize each of the variables uh, with a, a discretization intervals, calculate the conditional probabilities, um, of conditional probability tables for each of the variables. So here we are looking at matrices and not uh, integrals anymore, and, um, and propagate the information from one point, from one component to the other through the hyperparameters. Um, and of course, get the uh, total, the uh, probability of failure of the entire system. So um, the, um, this is an example of a uh, relativity uh, of um, uh, the system uh, with uh, the different inspection results for different components depending on where the inspection has been made and you can see that the uh, peaks are uh, signify the uh, inspection um, um, occurrences um, the accuracy of uh, the um, the accuracy of the of the DBN is quite good it's been compared to the with the MCMC method and it's shown to have uh, quite good accuracy in regards to the other method, but the MCMC is very computational de uh, demanding when you have more and more observations. So the DBN has the advantage of being effic computationally efficient and does not, uh, the, com uh, the computation does not increase uh, with the number of observations you have during the lifetime of the system. So for uh, inspecting component, uh, this is um, your reliability curve. So. Um, here we have the situation where uh, the component has no defect observed, so the reliability of the component uh, doesn't um, goes back up every time you inspect it. And for a non-inspecting component, through the by dynamic Bayes, hierarchical dynamic Bayesian network, uh, you has the inspection on another com on a non-inspected component of an inspection on another component is um, is reflected in the reliability of that component itself. Um, so for the heuristics, um, we've defined uh, five parameters. Uh, the first one is um, the inspection campaigns are performed at fixed interval uh, delta t. Then the number of inspected components, the fixed number of inspected components for each campaign is fixed as a certain number. Um, then the components that will be inspected are um, selected following their uh, value of information, but actually in this case we are looking at um, a proxy of value of information, so for instance probability of failure of the component or the criticality of the component of the system. Um, and then we use the thresholds um, in order to, um, um, add addition, to add an inspection campaign if needed. And, um, the repairs are carried out if um, the damages ex exceed a repair criterion. Um, in the case that I'm going to present now, um, we will assume that we will repair a component as soon as uh, the crack is detected. So here, present the case study of the Daniel system. Um, so the Daniel system is made of um, uh, n number of components all are equivalent um, and uh, they're interchangeable. So the observation, uh, one can replace the other. So there is no uh, prioritization of components at this uh, for that idealized system, which would not be the case, for instance, for a um, real st life structure, but this is something that will be developed further in the research. Um, we constructed uh, the uh, algorithm around uh, the Danek Bayesian network uh, model, so we determine um, the probabilistic model. So here we have all the parameters, and uh, you will note that um, the um, you will note you have the correlations um, here um, for the deterioration um, and for the um, hyperparameters. Um, that will be reflected in the. Um, uh, the correlation will be reflected in the model, modeling of the hyperparameters. And, um, and here we're going to look at two um, cost models. So you can uh, associate um, the uh, different costs to repairs and system failures, depending on how, what your structure is like. Um, and 
so um, uh, just to explain uh, briefly how the uh, update uh, property of failure updating for um, uh, the, the, the system works. So um, here we have the example, we have an, um, an inspection campaign every 10 years. So uh, the first 10 years we did the inspection on the three or however many components with fixed number of components we defined. Uh, the calculated probability of failure uh, didn't exceed the threshold, so we carried on. Then when we arrived at um, the probability of failure is calculated, let's say, every year. At year 19, we noticed that um, at year 20, the probability of failure will be exceeded, so we carried out another inspection um, at year 19. Um, in order to reduce um, the probability uh, of failure of the system. Um, and at this, um, you will see that there are, there are four um, points. So um, B was without inspection, if we didn't do anything. C is uh, when we do, we do an additional inspection. But again, a year 20, at this point, it would have been again higher than the threshold. So we did another one. So in total, we added um, two um, additional inspections at this year and we uh, went back to uh, a level that is acceptable and then a year 20 you did, we did again the inspection as planned etc so this is uh, what the uh, for a inspection results what the uh, the probability of failure of the system looks like um, these are the components uh, conditional components probability they are corresponding and um, this is just the expression of, so the cost associated to an inspection history. Uh, you have the failure risk, component repair, component inspection, inspection campaign, and system probability of failure. Um, that, uh, so for each, um, each inspection campaign, you have a cost associated. Um, and then um, basically the optimization works that we generate uh, a random number, um, a, a sample of, um, of deterioration states. We, uh, from there, we draw a, a sample of um, observations and um, we integrate uh, the costs over that, uh, these observation. And this gives us um, these uh, histograms, graphs, um, which will give us the optimal inspection uh, strategies. So you can see that on the, uh, for a, an inspection interval of uh, five years, fixed inspection intervals, the uh, optimal um, number of components to be inspected um, is uh, in a Daniel system of 10 components is three. Uh, this is with a threshold uh, of uh, two times 10 to power minus 10 minus five. Um, if uh, the interval uh, inspection is 10 years, then uh, the um, ideal inspection strategy is about six components. And then we can basically vary uh, the priority, uh, the threshold priority, the um, inspection um, fixed time, uh, inspection times between each inspection, and uh, we can vary the number of uh, inspected components with uh, the defined heuristic at the beginning. And this gives us the uh, optimal, for the case one, the optimal uh, um, st strategy, which is uh, five components inspected every 10 years with a probability threshold of three times 10 minus five. And for case two, we have um, a different result uh, because the uh, costs of the different risks and repairs and inspection are different. And here we have that one component inspected every 10 years with a priority threshold of 3, 10 minus 5 is sufficient. Um, so this was just a Daniel system. Um, the priority uh, of the failure of the system, depending on how what components have failed, is quite easy to, um, to write. Um, but actually, if we want to apply this to a more complex system with um, components that are more uh, critical than others, then we have to do um, another more, much more analysis. And um, currently, we're extending this uh, optimization to a simple Zias frame. 
So with um, um, cross bracing and uh, we're looking at hotspots for fatigue and um, we will look at uh, the value for information based not only on the probability of failure of the members, but also the criticality, the redundancy factor, etc. Um, so these are the conclusions. I have shown you a pragmatic solution that can be applicable to a number of problems. And uh, we are, uh, it shows promising results for a, an extension to more complex systems. Um, of course, uh, we need to look at the heuristics on which this is uh, based and um, we can propose to an operator, uh, the operator can propose any kind of heuristics or uh, um, plans that would fit in best. So in order to uh, eliminate those that wouldn't make any sense. Um, I thank you very much for your attention um, and thank you for um, making me speak today. It was really not planned. Thank you very much.